Tell me if this sounds familiar. <laughs> Mr. Hard Worker, around 30s to 40s, has just decided to take the plunge and go for that investment. You have built your standards. You have come to different jobs, different places, met different people, just to find the one. He is the one. And when it seems like everything is falling into place, you get that sinking feeling that you might have forgotten something. So, how do you avoid that? How do you know when you have actually found the one for your property investment and not get scared? Keep up with me and I give you the checklist to maximize your capital. So the big question is this, how busy professionals and homeowners like us make six-figure profits from the property we own safely by doing it with research, data and numbers. How do we buy in a way without complications and half-guessing regardless of the market conditions and still remain profitable? That is the question. Here, I will share with you exactly what we do and how we do it. My name is Simon Tan and welcome to Singapore Real Estate Insider. Hey everyone, Emman here, your Singapore Real Estate Insider. Now that you have decided to maximize your earning potential through your property, the next step is to choose the right private property unit. The one that has the most potential to get you that six-figure capital safely and securely. Property options can sometimes be overwhelming, but there is an easy way to filter them to get the best unit. And it's by considering changes you might have seen before. Stay with me as I'll help you figure out the four points you need to watch out for. And the last point is crucial in making a huge difference in your decision making. First up, we have is number one, development within the area. You've probably already heard this from me, but I cannot stress it enough. Transformation is the key to your successful property value growth. It is one of the top factors to consider in buying a property. Surveying the location and its surrounding upcoming developments gives you a good insight if your target property is worth the investment. Take a look at these two stacks in the high Park residences. One offers a view of the pool and the other faces the entrance. The two units from both stacks were purchased on the same day for $854,000. It's almost a reflex reaction to opt for the pool facing unit, right? Let's look at the numbers, shall we? Upon selling, the units with the pool view profited $181,000. Not bad, right? But look at the entrance facing stack. It earned up to $346,000. How is this possible? It's about the entrance facing stack's location, you see. Fun view is teeing with HDBs. And from there, we can predict that there will be many HDB upgraders in just a matter of time. Next is number two, layout. If you were a HDB upgrader, what's the ideal unit for you? Spacious room, perhaps? Let's look at the layouts in the same property. The entrance facing unit is a 980 square foot unit. The pool facing stack is slightly smaller at 893 square foot. According to this floor plan, the latter can only accommodate a single bed with no utility room or other features. The entrance facing units are much more attractive as their layout allows occupants to bring in queen size bed in their smallest room. Plus, there's a utility room, which makes sense for families. This is why the entrance facing units are more enticing. People looking for similar units to this are families who intend to settle in, compared to the pool facing ones that are most likely purchased for investments. Number three, demand and supply. So building on the previous points, we know that people who plan to settle in long term opt for functionality and they look for properties that have higher market potential in the future, right? And we already know what this type of pattern can lead to. This situation means that more pool facing units will be available for sales when the TOP time comes, while the entrance facing units won't have as many slots for selling. Taking in this factor should be elementary for you, my friends. And last, but definitely not the least, number four, entry price. 
This will be the key difference between making six-figure capital versus none. Let's use Lakeview for a better visual. We will compare two stacks to see how the demand and supply plays out. Stack A has partially blocked units, while Stack B has unspoiled views of the lake. Look at the numbers. The partially blocked units sold up to 302,000 in profit, but the lake view units only make 197,000. If you think that an undisturbed nature view would bring in many buyers, then you're overlooking another factor, which is two words, entry, price. Both units from Lakeview were bought at 1.3 million and 1.68 million respectively. The Stack A units were sold at a premium of $70,000 while Stack B were paid with a higher fee of $200,000 at the launch. The units with unblocked views had less profit because of the complexity of three things. Demand, supply, and location. Keep in mind, that these three things will always change upon a buyer's appetite and that each site has a different demand and supply situation. To make the most profit from every unit, we must make a careful study of its locations, potential, demographics, and ongoing supply and demand. You do not want to blindly choose a unit hoping to hit the jackpot without doing your homework. Unlike the lottery, Real estate investment has more than just one risk involved. This is also the reason why those who follow us in their property journey are confident in their selection. By adopting our checklist, you too can walk with us in this journey together. Singapore Real Estate Insider is here for you. So invest wisely and stay tuned. What if I were to share with you from a research numbers perspective? It makes a lot of sense. A disclaimer, everyone's situation is different. So before you jump into following what we do, do clarify with us first before adopting this strategy. This might not be for you. If you'd like more personal time with me, comment me below and let's discuss more.